Holla peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. I'm gonna go work on my fitness. It's gonna go to the gym. You know, but I wasn't getting that feeling of glee that I usually get. Oh, no pun intended, glee, holla. I don't get that feeling of glee. I, I think I wanna work out outside. You know, so I asked baby, you know, let's get a, a frisbee and throw it back and forth to each other. I want to play outside. It's a nice day out there. You know, not too much sun. It's just like perfect. But I'll probably wind up at the gym because I want to show baby what I do in the ladies gym. She said she, she'll watch. You know, I need I need to be cheered on. That's why I do you know well in the classes. So I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it. You know, when I go sit in the sauna, I always find friends in the sauna. Holler at my friends in the dry sauna at the gym. You know, because we always find stuff to talk about. It's fun. It's like a sewing circle. I love it. It's like a sewing circle without the gossip. We're basically like talking about each other. You know what I mean? Getting to know each other. I'm talking about weight loss, you know, and how easy it is to gain weight and how hard it is to lose it. And that's true. It's so easy to gain weight. And then once you gain it, you're like, what the fuck happened? You know? And then you're trying to lose it. And that's the hard part. That's why you just got to keep moving, like Michelle Obama said. That's what really got me into it this year, was because her platform is fitness and move and all this stuff. And so I was like, cool, I'm going to get the peeps into it. I'm going to get into fitness member on the radio way back when. Well, here we are. And I'll tell you. It feels good. I mean, I can feel that there's less of me, but I still have a long way to go. You know? Oh, I'm sorry, my love. Sweet young woman. Here she is on The Bachelor with Jake Pavelka. Oh, The oh, Bachelor. Oh, God. No, the, ba the Bachelor girl died. She killed herself. Michelle had the nerves like go up to Jake. I'm really shocked. Graham would say that. This girl from The Bachelor killed herself, y'all. Graham loves her. Graham loves her. Why would he she do that? Like the hobby girl. He was the popular guy. Kim Ji Young Won uh, gone way too soon at the age of 29. Kim, do we know anything more about what could have led to this? No, I mean, there, of course, there's reports coming out, but it's interesting because you remember her so well from that season with Jake. I mean, I really feel like people remember her. Uh, I didn't watch her. She so confident, too, and it's just really such a shame, Jane, because now there are reports trickling out, of course, people saying she struggled with some insecurity. You look at some of the social media presence that she has, and she had Bible verses quoted. She seemed like she was a person of real faith, and she kind of had this poetry essence without her. Uh, it's just really sad to hear all these, uh, to, to see those clips and just remember who she was. And she was such a life of that show in so many ways. And then, of course, everyone else on The Bachelor had. Yeah, no, it, it, exactly. And uh, reportedly, her final treat was a Bible verse uh, from Proverbs. Doing what is right and fair pleases the Lord more than an offering. So someone that grounded in the faith, uh, with, you know, it's just baffling on all fronts. And, and just such a sad, sad story. Uh, well, let, let's shift gears now to read. She should have just had a cigarette or something. I mean, I, I didn't watch The Bachelor that season. That's a shame for that girl. It's a, I'm, I'm sorry that she thought that was her only option. How'd she do it? Let's look it up, y'all. Let's find out how she killed herself. Isn't that about a bitch? Let's see. How? 
How did the bachelorette kill herself? She hung herself. Ow. Tia Alamand is her name. Dude, she hung herself. How gruesome. You know, that's so gruesome. That's all I can say. I'm waiting for this to pull up, this article here. I'll go to another site. Go back. Now here it says that she died from a mystery illness. Organ failure. It was a suicide. According to the LA Times. Why are they saying following the an apparent suicide attempt? It's no longer an attempt once a person is dead. She's tried to do it before. Hmm. Let's see what the LA Times says. Here we go. Okay, Bachelor star Gia Alaman dead after apparent suicide. See? They didn't say attempt. G. Allen Mann, who appeared on The Bachelor and then I'll show The Bachelor Pat died Wednesday following the parent suicide attempt. See why you got to say that? Due to a critical loss of brain and organ failure. Yeah, she uh, apparently did hang herself. Brain and organ function loss. That's a nice way of putting it, though. She was 29 years old and she was found in her New Orleans home Monday evening by her boyfriend. NBA player Ryan Anderson. The New Orleans Pe uh, Pelicans forward contacted 911, but once Alamand arrived at the hospital, she remained unconscious, unconscious, in critical condition and on life support. She was known to Bachelor fans as Bubbly Maxon model, as the Bubbly Maxon model. We vibe for for uh, Jake Pivelka. See, we didn't watch that season. This was in 2010. So when she did not end up with Pivelka, she decided to take part in Bachelor Pad, which was another show on which former Bachelor and Bachelorette contestants competed for $250,000. Shit, I'll go on there. Hey, look, I'm going to take a break for a minute. I'm going here to get this two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. That's a lot of that's a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. It's a shame she had to go do that. But that has to do something to your self esteem if you don't get picked. You know what I mean? Here you know, you kissing on this dude and everything. She grew up in Queens. She modeled. She was good in sports. See, and whatever was bothering her probably wouldn't even be bothering her in 10 years. Don't do it, peace. Don't do it. LA Times dot com slash entertainment.
I trust their reporting. Hollow. Ah, that's depressing. Give me a cheer up in the crib. Hey! Um, I hear a beat in my head. I don't even need to hear. Let's play a song. Oh, don't forget, you know, your girls are raising money for charity. All you have to do is order my single, Love Lullaby. I wrote it for Baby. Just go to ShereenBaby.com. Scroll down. You'll see it. You can sample it even and listen to some of it. And uh, click Buy Now. It's as easy as that. And then you'll receive an invoice. And I will sign it for you. And we'll send it to you. It's that simple. And a portion of the proceeds go to the uh, the Salvation Army of Southern Nevada. So a good cause. Baby and I are very, very happy to be working with them. Love Lullaby. You'll like it. It'll make you feel good. That girl needed a love lullaby. Remember on that TV show that girl's mom told her because she was depressed, she was like, you need to watch the Tyra. Be like, you need to have a love lullaby. I wrote it when I was so depressed. I never thought, you know, that one day I would be using it for charity. You know? Feels good. And the feedback I've been getting from you guys has been phenomenal. Thank you. Your girl could not be more more grateful and just really happy and excited that I'm able to share Love Lullaby with the rest of you. Because, like I said, when I wrote it, I was in a very, you know, I don't want to say a dark place, but I'll say, not with Baby, but, you know, that was the time when my mom first found out that, you know, I was with Baby, and, you know, this is before On Your Mind was even thought of. And, uh, I was, what, maybe 20... I was 27, and uh, I went into a closet, and I just started to write a poem to her, and uh, a few years later, I laid down the lyrics, so it's real special to me to be able to, to share it with you, and people, if you can get joy out of it, because it is, it's, it's a love lullaby, that's what it is, so order it. You won't regret it. Well, that's enough about that. Would we'll you say let's go on to the next subject? Michael Jackson's people are in court. I know I touched on that a little bit before, but it's on it's on TV right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do today. Do I want to go to the park? and play racquetball at the park run around outside I don't know, I need to get some sunscreen okay, the sister need to get some sunscreen you know, and the sun is still there, it's still Vegas you know, it's a beautiful day Are you going outside? baby's not going outside so I guess we're going to the gym well, you ain't taking your no more? Well, the thing about the spin class, my love, you know, I mean, I want to take it, but I want, I'm, I got to work on my left shoulder. I got to work on the strength of my left shoulder. And the way that I can do that is, I'll show you today when we go. What I do in the ladies' room, I'll let you see. Because it's easy for me to forget that it's injured because I can do this with it. Do you know what I mean? 
but I can't take like a five pound dumbbell and like raise it up and hold it there. So I have to work on my strength. Ah, my strength, what'd you say? You know? Cause I can, I can do this, which is great, because I can do jumping jacks, but it still hurts. But I can do it, which is good. But I have to be able to do, like, the, that one machine where you're like this and you push up. My left shoulder is still not real strong. It, like, poor little thing. Like, it was shaking, you know, because of the pain. But I have to work through it if I want it to heal. That's it. You got to power through. You know, it's synonymous to life. You got to just power through it. Don't give up. Don't let anybody make you give up. Don't let anybody bring you down like Charlie Brown. You know how Charlie Brown was always depressed. Because everybody was always calling him a blockhead. Poor Charlie Brown. He really was depressed. He could have used some Zoloft. So, don't you think Charlie Brown was awfully depressed? Because I love the Peanuts. You know what I'm saying? I, I love watching the Peanuts. I watch every one of them. The Christmas, Halloween. You know, and now as an adult, I'm like, damn, Charlie Brown was one depressed motherfucker. You know? Like, do you really want your kids to sit and watch this show? This boy, he gets picked on. He gets bullied. He will um, never do anything right. He's always falling down when he tries to kick the damn football. You know, it just makes you look at it differently when you grow up. It's like, wow, we were watching this very, very depressed child. Yeah, that's just how my mind works, you know what I mean? I analyze all that shit from back in the day. Like Tom and Jerry with the black maid. Tom! Total stereotypical, you know, black maid from like the 50s. Loud, fat, chasing, chasing on around the place with a broom. Cause that's what fat black women do. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> that's my Facebook. Talking to my girl Diana Buckley.
oh yeah, and this one here, like, there's that machine, like, here's my elbow, and there's a machine where there's, like, a thing here, and you butterfly it out, you know what I mean, like, I have to do that, things that a therapist would have me doing. You should see me in there with the pain on the face. It was like that. <clears throat> it. You gotta keep it real. All right, y'all. We're 20 minutes in. Let me put this up. Holla. I love you guys.